these gorgeous red velvet cookies are going to be a favorite because they're soft and chewy and have a hint of cocoa and vanilla flavor which makes the cookies very delicious the ingredients are simple and the baking time will have you out in the kitchen in a matter of minutes so you're going to start off by pre-eating your oven at 180 degrees Celsius and then you're going to line a baking tray with parchment paper ready for the dough so that we can bake our red velvet cookies exciting right <laughs> In your mixing bowl, you're going to add in half a cup of margarine or butter. Cream the margarine for around a minute until fluffy. Scrape the size of the bowl to make sure the margarine is getting fully creamed up. And the margarine is going to turn from yellow to pale yellow once you are done whipping up the margarine. When the margarine is creamed up, you're going to be adding in three quarter cup of sugar. And using your hand mixer, you're going to whip up this until fully combined. Scrape my bowl. Next, you're going to crack in one egg and whip up for around two to three minutes until the butter is light and fluffy. In between, you're going to scrape your bowl to make sure all the margarine and sugar are getting whipped up. So I'm going to add in around five drops of red food color scrape your bowl to make sure all the butter is fully combined with the red food color and then next i'm going to be adding in my dry ingredients so to my bowl i'm going to add in a pinch of salt this is to balance the sweetness of the cookies also, I'm going to be adding in some baking soda, which is going to help the cookies to bake perfectly. Add in a teaspoon of cocoa powder. And at this point, you don't need a hand mixer. All you need is your spatula. So I'm going to fold in the ingredients into the butter. Oh, this is smelling so good because we added in some vanilla and the cocoa powder. At this point, you don't need a hand mixer. All you need is a spatula. So you're going to fold in all the ingredients together to combine. And this smells absolutely incredible because we added in some vanilla and the cocoa flavor, which has a very nice chocolatey flavor. And the cookies are not yet baked. So now it's time to add in my all-purpose flour. Over here, I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm going to add in half of the all-purpose flour, fold in, and then add in the rest. Make sure to scrape the bowl so that all the all-purpose flour can be fully combined into the dough. Scrape the sides of the bowl so that all the all-purpose flour can be fully combined into the dough. To add a very nice contrast to my dough, I'm going to be adding in some white chocolate, which I've chopped up. This is half a cup of white chocolate. If you have the chocolate chips, you can add them as well. So I'm going to add in my chocolate and fold just a little bit. And then I'm going to be refrigerating my dough for around 30 minutes before baking. When the cookie dough has chilled, you're going to preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. And then using an ice cream scoop, you're going to scoop out the dough and transfer to your baking tray. 
the ice cream scoop is going to help you get those evenly sized cookies so i'm going to transfer to my baking tray scoop out some more and transfer make sure to evenly space out the cookies because they are going to spread while baking and using your hands you're going to pick up the dough and because it's it's chilled it's going to be very easy for you to work on the dough so you're going to roll the dough on the palm of your hands just like that And once done rolling the cookie dough, you can add in some extra white chocolate on top just to jazz up the cookies a little bit. You're going to be baking the cookies for around 10 to 12 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. After 12 minutes, you're going to check on your cookies and they smell absolutely incredible. Wow. Just wow. Check out my red velvet cookies. They are well baked and looking Mwah. so delicious. So I'm going to let this sit on the baking tray for around a minute before transferring to my cooling rack so that they can fully cool down. Adding white chocolate chips to the cookies has made them look so gorgeous and stunning. I love the red color and the outcome is just soft and chewy cookies. I love having my cookies while still warm. So if you're going to be trying out this recipe, you're surely going to enjoy every single bite. Serve these cookies as a dessert and everyone is going to be happy. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll be trying out these easy red velvet cookies.